Most accountants are working double the number of hours that they really need to because they don't have the right systems in their business. Accountants have been known to wear the 80 hour a week badge of honor in this business and that day has passed. It's over. It's done. Fewer people than ever are entering the industry. I think this is a large part of why. No one wants the abuse, quite frankly. In short, we're tired of it. But with the right systems in your business, it's my belief that we could actually reduce the number of hours you have to spend in half without giving up any of the work, without raising your rates or doing anything drastic, but simply by having the right system in place. And here comes the key to this whole thing. I'm going to spoil it for you a little bit. But if somebody reaches out to me and says, hey, Seth, somewhere along the way, I saw this video you did on you know, how to do the accounting and QuickBooks Online for a credit card account that's got sub accounts because there's a master account and card holders and so on. In 30 seconds, I can do a search in my database and find the basically the dossier that I've put together on that particular article and video I did with all the links. And then I have my choice. I can send them straight to YouTube. I can send them to the write-up on my website if that's what I prefer. Um, so the point is I can retrieve what I'm looking for in 30 seconds or less when I need it. And I don't need any independent recollection of where that is. I have a system. I, I trust it. I know where to go. And like I said, I can retrieve what I need in 30 seconds or less. That's the key to a well-optimized work management system. And to take that one step further and define it for you, that means it's a system that's optimized for retrieval. You're going to hear me talk about this quite a bit in the course. Now taking some pages out of David Allen's book, I started building my system in Notion around a lot of his concepts, really around defining, clarifying. You know, the, the phrase, as he puts it, is to capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage with everything I need to do. All these questions that we don't usually bother to ask ourselves when we're using a project management system because a project management app doesn't teach you any of this. It just gives you the app and says, here, go have at it. Right? They don't give you a system for how to use the app. So here I've got a system that's based on, like I said, lots and lots of years of learning about this stuff and then books that I've studied that have built systems based on frameworks that can work with or without any app right so that you just you take a system that works that you can trust it starts with the daily journal and this gives me also a place by the way where throughout the day how many times throughout the day you're having a conversation with somebody it could be in slack email or even standing you know outside somewhere where you happen to be and somebody gives you something a resource something you immediately realize oh this is something i want to check out all right the next thing you start doing and and, and your stress levels immediately go up because it's like where am i going to put that right? Well, having the daily journal and having a product like Notion, which has an amazing mobile app right at your disposal, allows you to give you, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but you can see how right at the top there is daily journal. So once I tap into that, at the top of the list that appears in the next screen is today's journal entry. It's always the most recent, right? It's got the whole list there. So in, in two taps, basically, I'm in today's journal entry, and I can quickly make some notes about that or copy and paste a link to that or whatever it is. It, it, it eliminates the stress of having to figure something out on the spot where to jot a note. I can put it in my journal, and then later I can transfer it to whatever bookmarking system I have or whatever note I have about whatever research I want to do on that thing. Now, as I mentioned, I talk to a lot of you, and I hear your frustration. You know, you have all kinds of files all over the place everywhere. You might even be using Google Drive, which is great for file management, especially because you can use it very easily in both Windows Explorer and, you know, on the web, on the Google Drive side. When you take the time now, to optimize for retrieval instead of transmission, you save yourself collective hours later looking for things. That's the bottom line. You save yourself from what Nick Sonnenberg and Come Up For Air refers to as the scavenger hunt, right? And now imagine you have a bigger organization and one person starts looking for something and then enlists the help of somebody else and that time adds up you know, collectively and cumulatively and multiply that by how many times that happens for how many minutes each week, time how many week each year, times whatever their average pay is, and it starts getting very expensive. It's an invisible cost that you can't even see because it's not documented anywhere. Once you're able to capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage with everything you need to do in a system you can trust, you'll find your stress levels will go down immediately. You'll also free up a ton of time, maybe even as much as half of the time you, you're spending now, because you'll save yourself all of that time on the scavenger hunt that I mentioned. Now imagine you could get the same amount of work done in half the time without having to increase rates, without having to upset clients or doing anything drastic or dramatic, but simply by having a better system for organizing, categorizing, and referencing everything you need to do. In fact, maybe under these circumstances, you can experience what I've gotten to experience now, which is that 
you know, you wake up well rested because you had a good night's sleep the night before because you weren't working into all hours of the night. And maybe you even did a little, you know, 10 to 30 minute meditation before going to sleep like I do just about every single night. And then you wake up early in the morning and you don't wake up and just run into the shower and get dressed and get ready for work. No, um, you spend the first hour doing something you really enjoy. So you're not checking emails. You're not worried about all that. You know, you've got that under control and you know, you'll get to it later and you'll have plenty of time to. Um, so the first hour of your day is spent doing something you truly enjoy. For me, it's relaxing on my sofa and usually reading something or learning something while I snuggle with my goddesses, my puppies, right? Um, that's what I usually do the first hour of the day. Then on a perfect day from there, I'm going to go have a workout early in the morning, get that workout done. I come back feeling like there's nothing I can't accomplish after doing that, right? Then I shower, get dressed, have some breakfast, right? Again, just taking my time because I have plenty of time. And then I can sit down and, and start my day and, and start opening up my journal and writing in it. Sometimes I've even already begun to write in my journal by then. That's kind of what your day looks like as you start your day every single day. You know, you have sole discretion. Nobody's tugging at you saying, hey, when am I going to get this? When am I going to get that? Because you're truly on top of everything. That's what I believe this work management system is designed to enable you to accomplish. Obviously, you have to use it. You have to use it the right way. But it can be done. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to start implementing some of this Bulletproof Notion work management system. And I'll walk you through a simple strategy that you can use right now to get results fast. So just stay on the lookout. You know, in the next couple of days, I'll send out notifications that the next video is available in this series. Now, by the way, if you haven't already, click the link to get on my early bird waitlist so that you'll be the first to know once I actually launch this program and you can get access to the whole thing. Now, I would love to just open this up and have a thousand people sign up. But it's not realistic, right? I, I, the point of me doing this is that I want to be of maximum use to you, to those who sign up and who are serious about this and really want to change the way you do things so that you can have the kind of life I just described. I'm likely going to limit this to just about the first 100 people that sign up. 100 people, even that sounds like a lot, but I know I can manage that because I have my work management system, right? Because you're going to get the course, you're going to get the templates, and you're going to get the community in Slack where you're going to be able to ask all kinds of questions. And then as I always do whenever I launch something new, uh, I'm sure this won't be an exception, is we're going to have some, uh, some live Q&A sessions so that I can answer your specific questions and do everything I can short of actually giving one-on-one -on -one because that would be impossible for me to do. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly hope you, you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, I'm not hard to find. Just reach out to me. We've got the free Slack community. If you're not already in 97 and up or one of my other programs that has a community, just ask wherever you can find me, wherever you can reach me. It's not a problem. And uh, as I mentioned already, stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to show you exactly how to get started with my Bulletproof uh, Notion work management system.